Okay, so we have a question from Gregory Dechev Gems. I hope I said that right. Uh, he says, hey guys, I'm looking for a YouTube tutorial of how to set up a simple show page for a rapper to perform live with autotune in real time. I have Antelope Zen Go audio interface and all the plugins we need, but never did such a thing before. He wants to perform over a mixed down instrumental with recorded ad libs. I know how to set up audio interface and pitch correction plugin for real time effect 10 times in advance. Thank you. That's what he's saying. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Gregory, this one's for you. I'm going to send a link into the PreSonus group on Facebook. So um, this is actually a really good question. And it's real simple. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, like this video because I think it's going to help a lot of people. And we want to get this going through the algorithm. So first thing you have to do, I heard him say he just wants to ad lib. So um, on this track, I don't have ad libs, but let's just assume that I did. I'm going to, you're going to go to your actual song page where you have the song. And then I'm going to mute whatever parts that I don't want. So like, keep emerging, got real ones around me. I'm going to mute this whole entire main track. And I'll leave whatever ad libs that you see here. Um, so once you do that, I'm going to go to song. And I'm going to export the mix down. That's what he said. He wanted to do it over a mix down recorded already. So just make sure you take out all your ad libs. I'm going to call this emerging um, show. So then, and let's save it as a WAV file. Export it like you normally would. So here, as you can see, it pops up. Zell Merging Show. Now what I'm gonna have to do is open up the show page and you guys won't be able to hear me, but I'm gonna add a player. So just make sure you guys are following me closely until you guys can hear me again on the show. I'm gonna show you guys how you can pick up real, real time audio in the show page. So pay attention. Okay, now you guys can hear me again. What I just did was I added a player. That's what they're called in the show CD. They're called, they're called players. So you add the plus sign. You do not go to a backing track to add the real time, right? You're going to do the aux track. You're going to do what I just did, name it, and the input. You're going to make sure it's on your mic input. So whatever, if you have two mics, make sure you got it on the right input. I mean, two inputs. Make sure you got it on the right input, and I got it coming out of the main. So now we have this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add. Uh, wait, hold on. We're going to uh, drag and drop the show song to right there. So now we got the show. Let's play it. Yeah, now I just be working. Yeah, man, I changed so much. I yeah. feel like I'm. All right, so now we're live, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my song. So now I'm in my song, and I need to know which key it is in, in auto-tune, meta-tune, wave-tune, whatever you're using. In this case, I got meta-tune, and matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just save this as emerging show. Emerging. Emerging show. And I'll put it yeah, whatever. I, I'll find it. So now we're going to go back to the show. And now I'm going to drag and drop my MetaTune on my voice track. Boom. It's on there now. So now I'm going to go to Emerging Show. It's funny. I've never saved a, a, a MetaTune. But now here we go. So now we're in key. Yeah. Now I just be working, working. Man, I changed so much. I feel like I'm another person. Yeah. Guess I found myself. Well, shit, I wasn't even searching. Nah. I just keep. And then you know when you're ready to do your your main. So yeah, even so searching, I did. I just keep emerging. I got real ones around me. 
I ain't even sure I got these real ones on my team. And I'm going to keep chasing my dream. And the cool part about it is you can add whatever you want to add. You can add your EQ. I'm going to just click a preset for now for the sake of time. Clean vocal wraps. So now it's like you're performing with the real with the real thing. Um, now just make, and this is real time. So just make sure um, that you got a good microphone. I don't know if you're using this condenser microphone, if you're using a dynamic microphone, but here's the mix track. Um, you could go ahead and you could do this to any of your tracks. Now, let's just say you're switching a track. This is important. Let's just say you switch a track. Um, it's the same thing. Just add another voice track. I'll just call this voice track two. However many tracks you need. Same thing. I'll put coming out the main. And so this is going to be for emerging song right here. You can even say voice track, emerging track or something. So you know. So make sure you mute. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? I just muted that. Once you're done, mute it so it doesn't duplicate into the next song because the next song you're going to be able to set a different key. You're probably you're most likely going to be in another key. So you would go back to your song and uh obviously find the correct pitch. And let's just say you're supposed to be in G on this one. And let's say your speed is higher. So now and you put your next song on, let's just say, I don't know, let's just say I did Bounce. This ain't really what it is, so I know I'm in the wrong key and whatnot, but let's just say it's on Bounce. Um, so if I play it, make sure you mute. And you can actually add a different set list. So you could totally do it the way you want. You could even... Just make it go to number two. You see how now it's going to play after. But just make sure that you're turning off. So that way you don't have to mute. You don't have to mute. And you can see how there's another set right there. So you could just click between your sets. But just make sure that you're. Uh, like I could even mute right here. To where it doesn't do it to where they're both on. I could mute this. That's if you don't want to keep muting it from there. So it's it's like best if you if you're not going to be able to like really think about it on time, just just do, use this mute right here. So I got this muted and boom. So now when I'm ready, this is ready right here and and I can go in. Hey yo, Dukes in the yeah. Yeah. Club, go for yeah. 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 I'm in the wrong key, but you get my point. So make sure you're in the right key every time by clicking your song and going to look at which key you're in. And I would just save my preset. So that's how you do it, man. You can be able to save your song on your set list. And this is how you do it. If you have any questions, feel free. Comment below. Let me know. Hopefully, Gregory, this answered your question. I sound like I'm on auto-tune. Hopefully, this answered your question, bro. And uh, yeah, man, for more tips... Subscribe to my channel, like this video, help the algorithm, and I'll see you guys in the next one.